Welcome to Life, Language, and Lyrics with me, Lena, where you can listen to conversations that I have with some of the most interesting people I know. Thank you for stopping through. Now let's get into this episode. Now we're at the language part. And so usually here I'll ask you things either about communication or like advice or something like that. And so um, what I wanted to know is, do you have any rules for how you communicate with each other, whether it's agreements or disagreements? You want to take that? I don't know that we have any spoken rules. I know that we have some unspoken rules. Um, I don't, I'm sure you, have you ever seen Why Did I Get Married? Yes. Okay. So when Patricia, Janet Jackson's character Mm -hmm. is like, guys, you never hit below the belt when you're arguing and all that kind of stuff. I think that's a, I'm real aware of once you put something out there, you can't take it back. Mm -hmm. And so I've said enough hurtful stuff to where at before growth <laughs> <laughs> to where now it's like no like not even now if something is truly bothering me mm-hmm. then that's a conversation that that will happen even if it has to rehash something that happened right. in the past right but just to take a kill shot like no that's not the point that's not (laughs) that's not the point here like we want survivors like we don't want anybody to like succumb to the fight right but um yeah I think a big thing for me is not not embarrassing me publicly um, I had to learn that by I, I had to. making jokes that may be funny in the house I could see it but, see it. <laughs> but in yeah the house, yeah that my feelings or right. that is embarrassing right. and to be an adult I I didn't say what I could have said to try to get you back because again it's it's like no that's right. not the point of this but I think yeah. that's just the main, yeah. the that's main good. thing. That's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I had to, I had to learn some tough lessons about that. It's like, <laughs> Jeremy, that's not an outside joke. That's a, <laughs> that's a, that's an inside the house joke, you know, but, <laughs> and my humor is really dry and bad sometimes. So it, it, mm-hmm. it just falls on really bad but uh for me I think it's it's um it's showing like showing her with my action that Mm -hmm. I love her like that I'm seeking to put her first Mm -hmm. you know whether whether that is um uh cutting people out of my life right I know I know that's a you know, that's a, that's real for me, mm-hmm. you know, because it's, it's, this is home base. This is no, you know, numero uno. Did I say that correct? Correct. Yes. Correctly. Yes. <laughs> you know, but I think, you know, showing her that she is still number one, mm-hmm. you know, and even going so far, cause like as, as a man, there are so many times when I want to do it my own way. Like, I feel like, you know, you can't tell me this, you know? Mm -hmm. So if I want to stay up and watch a movie until two o'clock in the morning and then get up (laughs) at six to go to work, I can do that. No, and I can't. So I could or in grad school, right. And my body is changing and, and it's different, different, not differently, different. Okay, different. See, now I'm all subconscious and things or whatever. 
<laughs> and so, you know, it's, <laughs> you know, but, but listening to her and taking her advice, you know, I think those are like tangible and small ways that I can let her know, like, yo, I hear you. I, mm-hmm. I see you, you know, and um, that's important to me that she knows that I'm listening you know, cause it's, it's tough. Like I have a million things on my mind and sometimes, you know, the last thing that I hear, unfortunately, is my wife's voice. Mm-hmm. And I've had to like retrain my ears, you know, you know, over time to yo Jay, like, listen, yo Jay, she's number one, yo, listen, you know? And so that to me, that's, that's important because that helps our marriage and that helps her confidence in me in knowing that if I, if I said it, I'm gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? That's good. That's good. So what do you hope that your children learn from how you communicate in your marriage? How to be a real G. (laughs) (laughs) No, um, I think, (laughs) no. Okay. I, I, I think what I, what I would like our kids to, to know are really they they boil down to like two or three things for me. Mm-hmm. Number one, having integrity, mm-hmm. you know, and knowing that the little things matter, mm-hmm. you know, guarding, you know. What she said, as it relates to com- how we communicate. Mm-hmm. Oh, as, to, as it relates to how we could, can you rephrase the question? Can you just repeat the repeat question? Repeat the question, Alex. <laughs> What do you hope your children learn from how you communicate in your marriage? Oh, so I'm going to give this one to Tanika. <laughs> and then I'm going to piggyback off of Tanika because I was going somewhere else with that. It was beautiful, though. It was very beautiful. It was beautiful. Um, <laughs> man, um, that no one's perfect. Yeah. Um, that just because we're the parent doesn't make us always right Mm -hmm. um that when you react the wrong way Mm -hmm. try to make it right Mm -hmm. um and that um it's a scripture in proverbs that a harsh word stirs up anger Mm -hmm. but when a soft response turns away wrath I know I I tortured it but it's something Proverbs Proverbs 14 I I know it's in Proverbs but um and verse 83 that is so I I can I told you I could be intense So there, there can be, I, I'm that, I'm that meme and that those videos that you see where you ask real calmly, like three times. And then the fourth time you turn into like a raging lunatic. Yeah, that, that can be me sometimes. And so, and I, I, I am not proud of that. I do not, that is not a shirt or badge that I wear proudly. Right. And so Sometimes it's warranted, mm-hmm. but most of the time it's not. Most of the time it's, it is right. if I'm stressed or if, if I, what, whatever the reason mm-hmm. is not warranted. And so I make it a habit of, I try to make it a habit of not doing it, but mm-hmm. when it, when it does happen, I make it a habit of going to whichever kid and talking it out with them like i apologizing and and at this point (laughs) and she's really good at that they they will like i (laughs) she's really good at that what happened or when it happened last i i can't remember which kid Mm -hmm. it was but i went to apologize to whoever it was and while once I apologized and I was walking off, the other one was like, I told you she was going to come apologize. <laughs> and then the other one was like, well, we both knew that was already going to happen anyway. 
<laughs> so I that's when I was like, right. I I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing, Lord. I don't know if that's a bad thing, but I feel like I did what I need to do in that moment. So it's out of I my think hands. So I think so. They also are aware of flaws that mm-hmm. each of us have. Right. And so it's me saying, you know, this is not okay. Right. Like how I reacted in this is not okay. Mm-hmm. How you reacted in this is not okay. And I also want them to, I'm the type of person right. where I don't, I don't really cut for if something has happened, some static has happened or a conflict has happened or an argument has happened and the next day, everybody just acts like nothing went, ha- nothing nah, happened, we, nothing we like that. that is the most that toxic thing for me in life. Right. And so I make it a point that if you had a problem with something right. or if something was not was not good, we need to move through that first. Mm-hmm. Like you, you cannot sit up here and act a fool about something and then act like everything is okay. No, right, you need to apologize not. or you need to explain yourself or you need to talk it out, whatever, because you might not always be wrong. I'm not saying that it's, that the person is always wrong, whether it's me or whether it's a kid, but we need to have some type of resolution, right. even if we agree to disagree on the matter. Mm-hmm. But skating past it, I just feel like that sets them up for failure in the future. Right. Because yeah. I see adults that do it and I'm like, this weren't dysfunction dysfunction that's real cool i thought i made that up <laughs> i was like man that's good boy that's good i'm gonna write that down I'll put that on a t-shirt and sell it at any rate but overall just communicating right that that is and, and knowing how to communicate when you're angry right knowing how to communicate when you're sad like going through the different emotions, because yeah, you may need to take a breather and you mm-hmm. may need to kind of separate yourself for a minute and silence may be golden at the moment, mm-hmm. but you can't have a silent treatment like that's not going to help your life. And so just right. hopefully being a good model of how because they see us apologize to each other. Yeah, they, they I, well, I'm a big proponent of if they saw us talking about it or maybe arguing about it and i and we we tr- we we will not have certain conversations in front of them just mm-hmm. because they are still kids mm-hmm, but there right. may be something that pops off in the car and right why you go through that stop sign like that why you drive because i didn't i i didn't see the stop sign i died like you just get on my nerves like if, if something pops off then it's like no that 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 was whack like that should not have ever happened yeah. and it's if if they see it happen, then they need to see the resolution of it. Mm-hmm. Right. That that is and not not the resolution in private, right? But the resolution in public. They need to see yeah. like I talked to your dad wrong, or Jeremy saying I shouldn't talk to your mom like that, right. and just because I don't want them to think that dysfunctional moments are normal. Dysfunctional moments happen. Mm-hmm. Think things yeah. happen, but. This is not the norm. Right. Yeah. So. Uh, for me, it's uh, now I can come back and answer that thing, but I'm going to answer it with a twist. Okay. All right. There it is. She's like, oh, Lord. Oh. So I, I think what one of the things that we've always done with our kids um, since they were born mm-hmm. was we've always prayed with them every single night mm-hmm. of their lives. Mm-hmm. Right. Like. Like, and, and early on, I, I'll admit early on, I was like, I ain't doing this. Like my daddy didn't pray with me. Mm-hmm. My daddy didn't put me in the bed. My mama didn't put me in the bed. It was just like, dude, <laughs> go, to, <laughs> go bed. to bed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You know? And, and I think that was one of the things that Tanika really kind of initiated and drove home. And I think over time and over the years, that's become very very important to me mm-hmm. with how we pray over our kids and how we pray over each other and, and they're with, there and, and with each other yeah and with each other and so there are times when our kids pray over us just because of the atmosphere that we've set up in the house you know and that's encouraging because as a dad part of me preparing them for the real world 
is making sure that number one, they know the Lord Mm -hmm. and that they know that they can communicate with him, that he will communicate back to them. And I want to make sure that as we launch them into their purpose and into their destiny, they can always feel like I can always talk to God because I saw my mama and my daddy talk to God Mm -hmm. and we did it every night, you know, and and that's, that's important to me. All right. So now we're at the last section, which is the lyrics, one of my favorite parts. Um, And so I'm just going to ask you about some songs um, that may be related to your relationship or to your, um, each other. Okay. Um, so for both of you, um, what is a song or lyrics that remind you of your relationship when you first met? Oh, when we first met, um, <laughs> I think it's, it's for me, it's it's part of it's a movie that mm. deals with songs oh, right and has cool. a very heavy dope soundtrack and it's uh, brown sugar oh that's one of my favorites yeah it, there, whole- there's yeah the whole soundtrack there's so many hits in there and you know early on when we when we were um i can't remember when the movie came out i feel like it came out in the early 2000s you know and they're just like different quotes from lyrics from that movie that will kind of give each other you know and um when you first met yeah because like that movie is about tay meeting um sanai no nia nia (laughs) they were okay yeah like the the, yeah, like and, the whole thing okay. and how they met over music and all that um the the song um that i'm also reminded of is the song you walk down the aisle to mm. that was not donald that was that was steven <laughs> oh it was i'm no about teddy pendergrass yeah teddy p that's what i'm talking about teddy p that is what the the uh bridesmaids yeah, that's Amen. what they because I was you know, greatest inspiration. Being, oh, being a grown when we when we were when we first met, not when we well when we first met, I was like super Jesus y and the only thing I listened to was like <laughs> Christian hip hop <laughs> and cross movement and CCM and guitars. <laughs> that was that was it. That's a but cause because here's the thing. Yeah, I don't. I don't remind you of no lyrics. It, no, I'm trying to think because she said when we first met, and remember when we first met, I I was not. So when we first met, she was not feeling me in the relationship. Yeah, that's that's the thing because oh. early when okay, so when we first met, because I'm trying to think of some song lyrics. Well, it'd probably be real petty. What? But I can't think of none. Because when we first met, I was not. You, you remember that movie, She's Just Not That Into You? Yeah. Or He's Just That Not That. I don't know if I'm like the butler of this joke. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the butler of this joke or not, but what are you saying? <laughs> met I'm just gonna use that movie okay that the the title of that movie for your lyric but early on in our relationship um it's that um John Legend his very yeah yeah we had that bootleg CD we we got a bootleg John Legend CD it was bootleg. Didn't have a bootleg John Legend CD. My brother got it for me, so if he ever run across this, it's, it's my brother's fault. I listened to it. I was blessed. We listened to the whole CD in the car in front of my dad's house. Mm-hmm. And it was like, yeah. And that, that was the night that you actually, me, that was cloud nine. That whole that whole thing. That was the night that you actually asked me, so that, that we actually made it official as a. Wow. Oh, that's nice. 
And yeah. that, that CD stayed. I was high. trying to sing. <laughs> My feet are touching the sky. John, Let John Legend's very first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the whole that whole album, the whole album. I think yeah, we were playing that recently. One. That was a good one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about a song that reminds you of your relationship right now? Wow. <laughs> we. <laughs> so it's not a it's not a particular song for me, but it's a genre of music. Mm. Right. Anytime we play like some old school hip hop. Okay. in the house um we kind of go back and forth and we wrap the lyrics and our kids are like just kind of looking at us like what are y'all doing like y'all are old you know what i'm saying and, I, and she knows I, like I can envision this moment oh it, we go in we go whether it, it doesn't matter if not not every song but you know it, mm. it depends right but if it's if it's bone thugs if it's biggie if it's Pac. She's like, no, don't say all of this. Yes, people, we're going to say this, right? Down to even, because I know my wife is super sanctified and a little bit more saved than me, even down to some of the the newer, like, Maverick City music. and. Oh, no, I was going with, like, Snow Allegra and Tim. <laughs> <laughs> the, little, <laughs> the little songs I, right. I like to jam out to. Yeah. In the car. We do a lot of Lauren Hill now, but I think. We've always done. I'm, I'm getting ready to pull up the lyrics. Uh, damn song. She just won a Grammy. That's in my head. It's right there. Peace, okay. peace of mind. I can see you moving to it. <laughs> Did you just have those lyrics ready? Nah, I just pulled them up. I said I was pulling up. Oh, free mind. Free mind, but I don't um, know. I think we just be. I, th I think we just jam it. I don't know if it should like remind us of us. I said it's five in the morning. I ain't nobody asked you to get up here and, and sing. No, I, I can't. <laughs> no, but honestly, we listen to a, a variety of music in our house. It's <laughs> never just. She said. She I know, said, but I'm trying to lyrics remind us of us now. I think that that um, Chrisette Michelle has a couple of forevers. Oh yeah, that's um, a, that's a that point. one. And then Let Us See had a song. I know it was during the pandemic, but um, was it higher? That no, it's, it's I don't remember the name of it. But it's the one I, the, I'll tell you the lyrics. Okay, if if basically like if she died today she prays that she did everything she could to honor him mm. and so my prayer is all, <laughs> all right. my prayer is always that like okay so back in 2020 I caught COVID mm -hmm. and so and I, I ended up with long COVID and so I, I had a good recovery um, and so throughout that time, I was able to do a lot of inside looking. Like I was able to say, okay, where am I with my relationships with everybody that's in my life? Mm -hmm. And I remember just being like, okay, if I, if, if this thing takes me out, have I right. given my kids any messages? Like, do you, you know, your parents, you can, you can always, whether it was good advice or bad advice, <laughs> like you, you have these different quotes that your parents taught you and then they'll like ring true sometimes. I'm like, I, have I told them anything that is worth something? Have I given them any life lessons? Have, have I been the wife that I was supposed to be? And, mm -hmm. and it, it made me it brought up every way that I was like falling short, honestly. And I don't know if it's because I didn't feel good or or whatever it was, but I was able to kind of recalibrate and say, okay, this is not that big of a deal. Or this, it is, are, are we at a point? And I told you at the beginning that Jeremy's like a real forgiving person, a real compassionate person and all this kind of stuff. But I, I never want to 
make him feel like I take him for granted. Mm-hmm. And so it was just, yeah, that that's that that would be my lyric. Like if God was to take, that's what it is. If God was to take me away from here today, I pray and hope that I did everything I could to honor you. It's let us see and I wanna say PJ Morton, but I'm not I was sure. I want to say PJ. But yeah, that that's yeah. because my my whole thing is yeah, at church, people see the couple that they look up to on ministers the right now. See the couple that's raising these kids that are awesome, but mm-hmm. behind closed doors, people don't see when we don't get it right. Mm-hmm. And when we don't get it right, how does he feel about me? Like mm-hmm. the, those are the things right. that I'm like, I I really hope that this is okay. Like that's right. the- and and my lyric is her lyric because we won. Man, I know that's right. My lyric is her lyric. <laughs> I know that's right. Larry is my lyric because he can't think of anything. <laughs> Brain fog. Okay, one more. All right. One more. Um, so I, I I wrote what reminds you of the other person, but if you had to choose a song that if Tanika, you had to choose a song that described Jeremy, what would it be and vice versa? I'm gonna let you go first. Just no, you gotta go first because I just finished talking. <laughs> um you gotta go first. All right. Um I I love this woman. And I'm I'm trying to think of two songs because it's definitely one that just come like jumps out in my mind because I, I would like to think of myself as now ultimately I know I, I know um these are things that that describe the Lord and describe God. But also as a man, I want I want to be a safe place mm-hmm. for Tanika. I want to hold on. This is my disclaimer. This is my I'm building my case. The song that reminds uh, Yeah, yeah. I'm building my case. I'm building my case. And so I want to be a strong tower. I want to be a source of strength. I want to be a source of encouragement. I want to be someone that um when she feels like the world doesn't understand her or when she she feels like she's she's not getting it right or you know there may be an area that that's that needs to be built up mm-hmm. or fixed right um i think for me the lyric would the song title um would be fix you by coldplay okay you know because if if i can try to move mountains i am it's 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 the you song said, that reminds yeah me. it's fix you that's one song but it's about, about you no it's, it's about song. you it's about you you want to fix me no it's it's <laughs> what had happened no because what i'm saying is what i'm saying is when you what had happened was when you you got a song <laughs> You got a song because you didn't totally like messed up my whole flow. Okay, re- it's supposed to be what reminds you of me. You, 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 you of me. No, you no. of me. <laughs> Elena, she's Dr. gonna Davis. tell me. She's gonna tell me a song that reminds her of you, and you oh. tell me a song that reminds you of Tanika. That's what I'm trying to say. That's we on the same page. That's all I was trying to say. That's all I was trying to say. So I'm gonna let her lead again on this one. Then I'm gonna backdoor it. Here it is. I don't know why. I try, I try so hard to come up with a different song, but this one keeps ringing in my head. And all I keep hearing is too legit to quit. <laughs> of me? Oh, I got this. Um, oh, no, nah, fam, I got. I'm ready now. I'm ready. Where's get my phone? Okay, go ahead. Cause I I got the whole lyric. Oh, I got the whole lyric. I'm ready now. Nah, okay. fam. Yep, I got you. <laughs> you. I get the question. Like, so why I say that is because 
Jeremy is going to figure it out. He is going to work a plan. If he, if he has a plan, he is going to work that plan until that plan works. Mm-hmm. And if that plan doesn't work, it's going to work eventually. And that's 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 what like too legit to quit. Like he he has too much going for him to quit. He has too like he's not going to quit. Like that that's that's the song. And I promise I tried. I was like, I can I not find something in this decade? <laughs> this is good this is good but yeah that that's that's the first thing that came to my mind <laughs> okay i got it i got it right here i got it and JJ, i, I, I yeah. can see what he yeah. just looked at yeah. like. jj fad supersonic supersonic jj fad supersonic because there there's a tanika is like the energizer bunny. <laughs> you know that one part where the girls say like and she keeps rapping for like three minutes. Tanika is going to move like that literally the whole day until she can't move anymore. Whether it's you know like as she's <laughs> yes. So that's yes, that's she acts like the energizer bunny. She <laughs> is like going to go all in. It's either all or nothing. And you know, she's just like this constantly, whether it's things around the house, whether it's you know, podcast stuff now, whether it's the things of God, like it's always like can't <laughs> Diddy too. Can't stop, won't stop. She got a Diddy spirit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, you know, I see her like literally like I can see her in my mind waking up in the middle of the night, just dancing, just can't stop, won't stop. You know, like because that's what she does. That's who she is. So those those are those would be my my um my songs. Those will be my songs. Right. For her. Yeah, I got it now. I just needed her to like lead with that thing so I could come in and, and be ready. Yes. Well, I will tell you, this has been so entertaining. I my <laughs> my cheeks are so are hurting so much from laughing and smiling. <laughs> oh my god! Well, thank you for having us. Like we we really appreciate it. Like for real. Yeah, this is beautiful. Um, let let the people know where they can find you if you have social media that you share. Um, and definitely talk about your podcast. All right, so um, you can find me at Tanika C. Butler. Um, do I need to spell it out or you'll have it? Yeah, you I'll tag you it. in the okay. In the mm-hmm. So at Tanika C. Butler um, on all platforms, the podcast that I recently started with Jeremy, also known as Producer Bay on the podcast. <laughs> um, it's called the Keeping It Simple Podcast. It is a Christian focused podcast that takes the Bible and tries to bring clarity um, to a lot of uh, misconceptions that people have um, and just keep things simple, make it clear um, and make it applicable. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's what we are currently doing. Yeah. And that um, podcast is good too, y'all. So I've already listened to it. You get the same you. energy you got tonight from them. Um, you, but you, also you some definitely really, do. Really great messages. Thank you. And Thank and you. new episodes drop every Wednesday on all streaming platforms. Keeping it simple with Tanika Butler. <laughs> and producer Bay. Well, if they're gonna search it. Oh, yeah. Okay, search. yeah. That's what they're they're just gonna. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not in the title at all. I'm just you know, you just there. behind the scenes. For the record, I did ask him scenes. if if he wanted to go that route. He was like, "No, this is this is your stuff." So yeah, I just wanted to really like support and produce and yes. lend my expertise. That was really good. You see how I did that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> how can they find you? Oh, um, Jeremy Q Butler on all platforms. I rarely post um, mm-hmm. these days, but that's where you can find me. Okay. All right. Well, thank y'all so much for sharing 
sharing so much. I mean, you shared some things that were probably kind of intimate. Um, and so we appreciate your vulnerability and just coming and blessing us with your time. Thanks for having us. We had a great time. Yeah, it absolutely. Was, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know how you're gonna cut her edits out, but <laughs> we're gonna uh, have to have a bloopers round. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And I am still over here with my cheeks hurting from laughing at these two. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Life, Language, and Lyrics with Lena. I hope you enjoyed part one and part two of the episode on Black Love, Marriage, and God with the Butlers. Until next time, see y'all later.